Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Rudy Toot Toot. Rudy Toot Toot. Rudy Tooty Tooty. Right this is snoot. an awesome drink. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Did you just invent that? No, it's from uh, it's from the uh, cartoon that this is named after. Yes, this is named. I don't remember, remember that from in the cartoon. You don't remember that? No, that's, that's right. one of my favorite cartoons ever. That's when she shoots the lawyer. Oh, don't give away the ending for crying out loud. <laughs> so the Rudy Spoiler toot, alert. The Rudy Toot Toot <laughs> is rye whiskey, root beer syrup, mm -hmm. club soda, and a little bit of bitters. And it's named Rudy Toot Toot because we use root beer syrup. Mm -hmm. But it's also named after this cartoon. Yeah. Great cartoon by the guys from UPA after World War II. Late 40s, early 50s, I think. 1951. 1951. Oh my yeah. gosh. You're like an encyclopedia. Thanks. <laughs> but uh, UPA, the same guys that made Mr. Magoo. Mm -hmm. Very characteristic style. I don't know. They weren't in business for very long. But they also made Gerald McBoing Boing. Have you seen Gerald McBoing Boing? Mm -mm. I haven't seen that one. Do you know anything about it? No. This is the only thing written by Dr. Seuss that was not written... To be a book. He okay. wrote it to be a record. I think it was a record. Or on a radio show. Something like that. Was it a children's thing too? Yeah. Was it Gerald McBoing Boing was, could not speak words. Okay. He only could make sounds like boing boing and okay. sirens and foghorns and all this kind of stuff. So he was made fun of at school and his parents didn't like him at all because he couldn't talk. Okay. So of course he was sad and ran away from home and became very successful doing what? Making noises? Making noises. He got a job doing sound effects on a radio show. Oh, okay. All right. So he became very famous. And uh, then he comes home in one of those cartoon limousines that is about three blocks long. You right, know what I'm right, talking right. about. Yep. And then, of course, everybody loved him. All, the ch all his fellow classmates loved him. His parents finally loved him. <laughs> it's like a terrible moral to a story. Right. Be, nice to your, be mean to your kid. <laughs> and he'll turn out okay. He'll be successful. Yeah. Anyway... <laughs> Back to Rudy Toot Toot. Now, Rudy Toot Toot, the cartoon, is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's kind of about a lover's triangle. I imagine this on YouTube. People could see it. Yeah. Frankie shoots the other girl. No, she shoots the guy because he's two timing yep. her. Yep. And then she gets off in court, of course. Yep. By her lawyer, whose voice was Thurl Ravenscroft. Do you know who that is? I don't know who He that was is. the guy. He had a, one of these really great voices. Yeah, yeah. Sort of like um, the guy that does... Darth Vader. What's his name? Um, James Earl Jones. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Thoreau Ravenscroft, he's got one of those great voices too. Long dead, I'm sure. He's the one that sang in <clears throat> the Chuck Jones adaptation of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, okay. okay. Yep, yep. So the song there, like, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. That was Thoreau Ravenscroft. Nice. I know. I'm just like a fount of knowledge. You are. Cartoons. That's all I watched. Growing up. Anyway. But yeah, really enjoy this drink. You gotta watch the cartoon. Right. That's a whole other layer. We use the rye whiskey, mm -hmm. and we're using Templeton rye today. Um, and we're using our homemade root beer syrup. Mm -hmm. You can watch us make that. We have a video for that. It's really good. Yep. It's kind of complicated, but it is amazing. Um, if you don't want to make your own, you can buy it. There's many varieties out there. Frankly, and I'm not tooting my own horn, Rudy Toot Tootin'. But our root beer syrup is just phenomenal. Did you just say that on purpose? No, I kind of halfway, <laughs> halfway through I knew what I was saying. And we're not patting ourselves on the back because it's even not even our root beer syrup recipe. Right. But it's good. It is very good. Um, so let's start by making it. All let's right. Make it. Yep. We're gonna add uh, to our coupe glass uh, three quarters of an ounce of chilled club soda. Grab a beaker here. Thank you. You're welcome. Because you don't want to be stirring or shaking the club soda. Correct. Because you'll lose your fizz. So we're going to put that right in the bottom. And then just to that, we're going to add one dash of the Peychaud's bitters. All right? That was sort of a dash and a half, but that's okay. And uh, the Peychaud's is um, kind of the tamest of all the bitters you're going to find out there. Yep. It's going to give this drink just a little extra character and depth, but not make it... Not alter its taste all that much. Right. Okay. Um, into a mixing glass, we're going to do two ounces of rye. You can use bourbon. That works fine. 
This Templeton rye is from Iowa. Hmm. It said this was what Al Capone always drank. He would sell the other cheap stuff to his right, customers, right. but he would drink Templeton himself. At least that's what the bottle says. Mm-hmm. And this is the only bottle I've ever seen that says, God bless America on it. See that? <laughs> I don't know how that got past the censors. Right. Probably because they do it like in cursive. You could hardly read it. Anyway, I've never seen that before on any liquor bottle. Me neither. Especially ones coming from France. I've never seen that. It looks like they got a couple of gangsters on there. No, no that's the guy. That's... <laughs> yeah, I think that's them making it during Prohibition. Right. Yeah. Well, then there you everyone go. Wore, <laughs> everyone wore hats like that back then. You have to wear hats in Iowa, otherwise you freeze to death. Right. All right. And three-quarter ounces of uh, root beer syrup. we got to shake our... I forgot to shake it beforehand, but... Get it stirred up. Get a little bit of sediment in there. After you. But this is really... We say this a lot. Yeah. This is an amazing drink. But this really is. It is. Jackie's been requesting this a lot lately, which is, you can imagine, you can see. Mm-hmm. You'd be done with that in no time. All right. We're going to add a few ice cubes to, that, uh, to the mixing glass and just stir it to chill it. The root beer syrup is already cold. The rye is not. So you want it just nice and cold. I'm going to get the strainer, which I forgot. All right, strain that right over the cup soda. It'll mix itself up. There you go. And to garnish it, I'm going to do just a little thread of orange skin. Put that right inside. And there you have your Rudy Toot Toot. Right in the snoot. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>